What is the difference between chlorine bleach and oxygen bleach? In this video, we're gonna find out. The most popular and well-known brand of liquid chlorine bleach is the Clorox chlorine bleach. The most popular and well-known brand of oxygen bleach is this OxyClean oxygen bleach. And I'm gonna slow down and speak slower in this video like I did in the last video so you can follow and hopefully this stuff will make sense to you. We can break down the differences between the two into three categories. The number one and first category are the active ingredients. The active ingredient in chlorine bleach is sodium hypochlorite. Now sodium hypochlorite is a chemical compound made up of sodium, oxygen, and chlorine. This right here, this ingredient, sodium hypochlorite, is what gives chlorine bleach its power, okay, its power to whiten your whites, remove your stains, and disinfect, which means to kill germs and bacteria. That ingredient right there. Now, let's talk about the primary active ingredient in oxygen bleach. When you open up a container of OxyClean, you are gonna notice a white powder here okay with blue crystals the primary active ingredient in oxyclean is sodium percarbonate here it is right here sodium percarbonate sodium percarbonate is a chemical compound made up of sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide obviously the dried powdery kind right so you got sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide. This is what makes up your sodium percarbonate. Now, sodium carbonate is also known as washing soda, soda ash, soda crystals. You'll see these three words in sodium carbonate. You'll see those words used interchangeably, but they're talking about the same substance. Okay? So... Sodium percarbonate is a chemical compound made up of sodium carbonate, hydrogen peroxide, and of course we know that in hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So what happens whenever this white powder comes in contact with water, it releases, you see that bubbling, that fizzing action, and it will release the oxygen within the hydrogen peroxide molecule which will then loosen up the stain molecules on the fibers. So oxygen bleach contains no chlorine. When people talk about oxygen bleach, you'll hear them refer to it as non-chlorine bleach, or they might say color safe bleach. But the words are used interchangeably and it's referring to the same thing. Oxygen bleach is color safe bleach. It's non-chlorine bleach. The second category of the primary differences here is how they are used. You don't use chlorine bleach on colors because it will remove the colors. You only use chlorine bleach to remove stains from your whites, whiten your whites, and also, as I mentioned earlier, it's, it's incredibly effective as a disinfectant. Oxygen bleach, on the other hand, is considered color safe, so you can use it on your colors because it doesn't have the chlorine, so it's a lot less likely to cause discoloration or fading. It's also a lot more gentle, delicate, and less harsh on your fabrics. The downside of oxygen bleach, though, is that it's not as effective at removing stains as a chlorine bleach. Now, don't get me wrong, it will remove stains. It's just that when it comes to those really tough, set-in stains that have been there for a little while, you're going to struggle and you're probably going to have to do multiple uses. And even at that, the stain may not come out. And the reason it doesn't remove stains as well is because it's just not as potent as chlorine bleach. Because it's just not as aggressive. Also, the thing about oxygen bleach is it's not as effective as a disinfectant as chlorine bleach. Now, don't get me wrong. It does have disinfecting properties. It will kill some of your germs and bacteria and your viruses, but it's just, it takes longer. You have to give it longer time to do its work. And it's just not as effective, meaning, let me kind of describe what I'm talking about. 
hypothetically speaking, if you have, if you could put five viruses on the table, on a flat, hard surface, put five of them there. You spray it down with chlorine bleach, it's going to kill all five viruses. You spray it down with oxyclean, it might kill three of the five viruses. So it's just not as strong, not as aggressive, aggressive, not as effective as a disinfectant as a chlorine bleach. The third final primary difference between the two is their impact on the environment. And I know this is a big deal for some of my subscribers. Oxygen bleach is biodegradable, meaning it breaks down without leaving behind toxins and pollutants. It just breaks down into water and oxygen. So it's safer on aquatic life, plants, soil. It's safe on septic tanks because it doesn't disrupt the natural bacteria processes that you find going on in the septic tank. Also, when you use oxygen bleach, you have reduced air pollution because as we know, when chlorine bleach mixes with certain substances, it creates toxic gas. Also, chlorine bleach does generate byproducts and residues. It leaves those behind, which causes pollution. So those are the three primary differences between oxygen bleach and chlorine bleach. Now I know some of you might say, Tommy, this is OCD stuff, bro. Well, check it out. I'm OCD. I'm so OCD, I call it CDO. Because then the letters are in alphabetical order.